is in your rising routine. The secret is in your routine. It's in you, but if you don't cultivate yourself collectively every single day in a consistent fashion, then you don't bring yourself out here. So I'm going to be talking about how do you structure a routine that's going to transform everything. Listen, the secret is all in your routine. The moment you change your routine, you change your life. Life is a series of what we do every day. And what we do affects who we become. So unless you change what you do, who you become becomes the same. Who, what you do to yourself, as in how you think. What you do in life, as in your actions. As in your, your behavior. So it's all in the matter of what you do. And unless you change it, you're going to keep re perpetuating the same thing. So that's why I want to talk about that. The secret is in your routine and how to start a brand new routine that will transform everything for you. Okay. So if you're normally working sporadically, right, and you don't have a specific routine, now would be the best time to, to change it. Right. And the reason for that is the moment you change your routine, you have a different mentality about life. So this rising, I was asking the people doing Rising Prime this very simple question. Like, what gets you up? What gets you going every day? Like, what are you looking forward to every day? What gets you going? What gets you growing every day? And what gets you going every day? If nothing is getting you to grow, nothing is getting you to go, and you kind of like barely waking up, then you need to find that pull. There's one way. You can have push motivation. You can have pull motivation. The question is up to you which one you're going to choose to reside in. The constant push of like, man, yo, I got to wake up today, try to go, try to take myself to work. Or the constant pull, like, man, I get to live another life. Like, how do I create that life today? It's a different, it's a different mentality. So why do you wake up? That's the question I have for you is why do you wake up? Do you wake up to go to work or do you wake up to wake up? Why do you rise? Do you rise for you or do you rise for them? Are you rising to do what they need you to do or are you rising to do what you plan on doing with your life? I want to this is some serious questions that we got to answer really. Because at the end of the day, if you sporadically rise and you do everything else everybody wants you to do except for what you want to do, then what that means ultimately is that you're not living your life, you're living theirs. And I'm here to say to you that one of the best ways you can start living your life is by setting your setting a routine for yourself. What a routine does is before you deal with anybody else's business, you deal with your business. So somebody, man, like, yo, I don't have a business. Yeah, you do. The first business you have is you. Grand Rising. The first business you have is you. You are the first business you got to take care of. So the first business in the beginning of the day is you. So how are you making sure that that business is working effectively? How are you making sure that that business is thriving and not simply surviving? Right. So every single day you have to invest in your own business. You're like, yo, I'm up today. Um, where am I going? How am I growing today? You know how you run a business? You have to show up for the business the same way you show up for the business. Show up for you. Consider yourself being your number one business and you see how your life starts to evolve rather than being an employee of life or employee of the system. It's a different mindset. It's a different mindset. So the next time you wake up, say, today I'm rising up and I am running my business. The first business I'm running is myself. You are the chief executive officer of your life, believe it or not, which means you're already a CEO. Every single day you have to manage your life. You got to manage your finances. You have to manage your wellness. You have to manage the environment. If you have kids, you got to manage the office. If you got a dog, you got to manage the dog. Right. So at the end of the day, you are a leader in your life. The moment that you start to see that you are the leader of your life, you start leading your life. The moment you start leading your life, everything transforms for you. If you let everybody else lead and tell you when to show up and you don't know, you don't tell you haven't told yourself when to show up. You're making a big mistake. Let, let me repeat that. If everybody else and their mama and their sister and their cousin, they get an opportunity to tell you when to show up. And you're not telling yourself when to show up. You're making a huge mistake. That means that you are allowing them to take care of you. You got to take care of yourself first. Now somebody says, well, I got to generate resources. Yes, that's what it is. Work is a generation of resources. You are the resource being generated. Mm. 
when you work on yourself. Work is a generation of external resources. We get money so you can use. But when you generate your own resource by working on you, you get more of you to bring. And eventually, you don't even have to go to work. You become the business. I love what Jay-Z said. Y'all ever heard what, the, what my man Jay-Z said? This man Jay-Z said, I'm not a businessman, y'all. I am a business man. And that was the most powerful thing. Somebody wonders like, yo, what does that even mean? I'm not a businessman. I am a business man with the little comma in between. Well, it means this. I don't I don't do business. I am the business. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't get I don't do the job. I am the talent that the job needs to the job to get done. So even you you like, man, I don't run my own business. Where's my value? First of all, we gotta we gotta step back a little bit. Before we dictate what my value is. You have intrinsic value. You are endowed with greatness. Your very DNA is your value. So somebody says, How valuable am I? As it relates to the skill set, I don't know. But as it relates to your being, super valuable. So that's the reason why you got to take care of yourself because you're super valuable as a being. So because you know that, you need to bring this value out. So what are you going to do to bring this value out? First, you got to cultivate it. You got to cultivate the value of you by appreciating it. So listen, if you don't appreciate your value, the value depreciates. Because the more and more you don't see what you already have is the more and more you talk trash about yourself. And so it's like taking that car to the parking lot, it keeps depreciating. And here's what I'm saying. To recognize how valuable you are, you have to spend some intricate moments with yourself to really get in tune to your spirit, where you really know who you are. And the only way to do that is personal development. And I think found out that the best personal development starts with how you rise up in the rising. So here it is. Personal development is the cure-all. Is the cure-all. Your desire to want to grow is going to cure a lot of things for you. Because education, when, it, when we're self-educated, it means we're educating ourselves on ourselves. By ourselves. Self-educated. But we don't get educated by ourselves. We have to learn from other people. So self-education starts with education of self. You have to learn who you are how your body works, how your mind works, how life works in order to work it. So the way you do that, one of the best ways to do that is first thing in the rising. You wake up, what is the best thing you could do? First of all, you tap in to see where you're at. Once you know where you're at, you can dictate where you want to go. Once you know where you're at emotionally, by the way, y'all stop for a little bit. Share this video to five friends, comment done, right? Um, share this content to five friends and comment done. Um, that will help this uh, reach a lot more people. So I appreciate you if you can uh, do that for me really quickly. Share this video uh, to five friends and just comment them. So what I'm saying is this, bruh. You got to educa educate yourself on you. The more you educate yourself, the more you'll be able to see. Education are like lenses paradigm shifts you can't you see the same thing if you have the same way of thinking if you change the way you think you change the way you look at things and when you change the way you look at things what you look at will change it's very simple same person same situation but they got a different mindset right so you could be in the same situation but you just need a different mindset which means this mindset comes up with the way you set your schedule what you put in it what you allow to take your time or what you give your time to. Grain rising, sugar spice. What you give your time to. That's all that is going to dictate your mindset. So I'm talking your routine. So let me ask you throughout the day. What are you doing? What are you doing to work on your mindset? First thing in the rising. Are you waking up and just sporadically, oh, I got to do, 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 do. Or are you actually waking up with intention, having a routine to work on the set of your mind? So here's what happens. Remember I told you education will allow you to see more. The first thing that happens when you wake up, you're, 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 you're transitioning from a deep sleep state to a theta state. Right. And from this theta state, you get into um, what they call beta. So between right when you're trying to open your eyes and you 
deciding whether you should press the snooze button, your subconscious mind is most impressionable. So while your subconscious mind is most impressionable, it would behoove you to do what? To put into it some positive messages. Now, what I tell people is record your own message. Grand Rising Queen, Grand Rising Queen. Good to see you, Melanin. So you set your own thing. You, you put your own audio in your ear. So what I like to do is I listen to something that's going to remind me who I am and what I want to do for the day. Let's say you woke you the night before you recorded it in a peak state of mind and you listen to it first thing. Guess what? You got yourself some rising motivation right there and then you're priming your brain. So somebody says, well, I'm not too motivational. Guess what? Then you listen to my stuff. You go to edtalksdaily.com, right? First thing you do, you listen to a positive message. Hardwire it into your mind. By the time your brain wants to look for anything negative, you've already primed it to be super positive that it doesn't, it can, it repels away all negativity. You want to get your brain to a point of repellent, repellent away from negative thoughts. The way you do that is by, you need to fuel it. You need to give it a, 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 a priming. You need to give it something, right? That's what priming is about. You give it a stimuli that stimulates it and it goes towards that direction. So what if you normally you woke up and you started to think about your ex? Well, not a good one. <laughs> Start to think about the future now. You like, how do I create it? Vision statement. I love to look at my vision statement. Oh man, my phone just died. My vision statement is what keeps me growing. And what I mean by that is I have a vision for my life. And by having a vision for my life, I have something that pulls me into every single day. Because I know what I'm creating with it. Instead of saying, oh, I'm recreating what happened. I'm like, man, this is how I can create my life today. And because I know this is how I can create my life today, it gives me way more ambition, way more motivation to create my life that day. Rather than saying, man, this is how I have to just randomly accept what's happening and not do anything. It's a different mindset. When your mindset shifts, your life shifts. You just have to switch the way you look at things. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. By the way, if you're tapping into this, this is a podcast. Y'all go to Ed Talks Daily. You'll be able to always listen to this. So you have to change how you're looking at it. So I said, you wake up in the rising, you listen to something positive. What else you need to do? Move your body. If you want to heal your body, you have to move your body. If you want to move, if you want to heal your body, you have to stretch your body. You have to massage your body. So I teach that throughout massage, right? Sugar Spice, you love this? I'd love for you to join the Rising Prime, right? So check this out. I have this daily thing. You know why I'm talking about Rising Routine? You want to join me and get an actual test of this Rising Routine. I do it every day, Monday through Friday. It's on Zoom. You don't. You can tap into it. It comes with mental health check-in, mindful movement, personal development, all that good stuff to get you at a peak state of being, okay? Yes, it is live. It's on it's called Rising Prime. So you want if you want to really get this, you have two options. You can just text me, which I have a phone number which I coach you throughout the week. I send you empowering text messages, episodes from our podcast. So yeah, y'all try this out right now, right? So take your phone out and text Rise, R-I-S-E, two five six one five one zero ninety six zero five. Okay, so text Rise to five six one five one zero ninety six zero five, and then you'll be able to be part of my motivational text messaging tribe, and I'll be uh, motivating you on a consistent basis, as well as I'll let you know about the Rising Prime. Right, that's one way you could uh, join the Rising Routine. Or you could go to risingprime.co. Okay. So to going back to the rising routine and its importance. I just wanted to plug that in so y'all know what I got going on. You know what I'm saying? Um oh no. If you're this is not on WhatsApp, um, you have to have a line. I have a WhatsApp group, but I, it's not. So it's either that or go to the website, join us on Zoom, you get the email. So, I was talking about this. It's all in your routine. So, if you if you change up your routine for the next if you change your routine for the next 7 days. If you change up your routine for the next 7 days, I promise you will transform your life. 
okay if you change your routine for the next seven days i promise you will transform your life if you started to do something positive in the rising to get yourself at a peak state of mind they found out that there are certain emotional states once you experience you can never go back to to, to the previous so let me let me tell you what are some of those extreme gratitude once you get to a really really grateful space it's hard for you to start to look at all the negative stuff because you're just so grateful of all the things that you have. And that great, that grateful, the grateful state gets you a sense of gracefulness, which allows you to stay in a graceful state. So if you exuded gratitude first thing in the rising rather than worry, you would have you'd be grateful way throughout the day. Your energy would go up. Your, your mind would be better. So some stuff you can say right in the rising and the reason why rising routines are so important is you wake up, you put your hand on your heart and you say, I'm grateful for my breath. I'm grateful for my life. I'm grateful for having a roof over my head. I'm grateful for I'm grateful for. And you continue just to say that this is something you could do right now as we as we're doing it. So by saying your gratitude, you're going to start to see what you actually have. You're going to be in a spirit of gratitude rather than the spirit of lack. The spirit of lack. Um, look at, looks at all the things in your life and says, look at what you don't have. The spirit of gratitude says, in spite of what I don't have, but look what I do have. And when you build an appreciation for that, that appreciation, it allows you to grow. I said you could either be in depreciation or appreciation. Things go down the more negative you are about it. It's like the value of it diminishes if you don't see the value in it. So as you appreciate it, the value of it goes up. Same thing with yourself. The more you appreciate yourself, the more you're going to see how valuable you already are. It's not even that your value goes up or down. Because at the end of the day, you're still valuable no matter what. It's just a matter of you being able to see it. And you only can see your value through appreciation. That's why I love this statement that says, exchange your, exchange your expectations for appreciation. Your life will change. And what that means is as soon as that you stop expecting you to be a certain way, you stop expecting the situation to be a certain way, you stop expecting your environment to be a certain way, you stop expecting certain people to be a certain way, and you just appreciate things as they are, once you trade your expectations for appreciation, your life is going to evolve. So somebody says, yeah, Ed, that sounds really nice, bruh. The holistic motivator. I like it. But how do I appreciate myself when all the time I look at myself and I just don't like what I see? Well, what are you seeing? Are you seeing you or are you seeing you? Are you seeing a body or are you seeing a spirit? Are you seeing the possibility or are you seeing your past? Are you judging yourself based on the lens that they put for you or are you really realizing who you are? You, are, you can transform your life. Like wherever you're at right now, you're not stuck to this state. That's the power of a rising routine. Every time you realize like, yo, this is where I'm at. I am now, but I am not stuck to this. This is what I'm experiencing now, but I am not stuck to this. This is what's going on in my life now, but I am not stuck to this. I control my destiny. I can transform my life. I don't have to remain like this. I don't have to stay in that state of depression, of anxiety, of stress. I will learn the tools that will transform everything for me. I will acquire the mindset. I will acquire the, 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 the resources. I will join the community. I will find the coaches. I will do whatever it is that I need to to transform my life because I understand that I don't have to live the way I've always lived. I could always transform it. The moment you say, I can transform my life, your life starts to transform. So I want you to, to, to see if you can get yourself in that state of belief that you can transform your life. And by very this moment, right in this moment, I want you to say, I can transform my life. Right. First, we just start with I can. Right. I can transform my life. Say that with a little intensity. Say with some more intensity for me. I can transform my life. I can transform my life. Now, first we start with the I can. I can. Then you can say, I will transform my life. I will transform my life. We start with I can transform my life and then go to I will transform my life. Okay? I can't. And then after you convince yourself that, man, not only can I 
not only I can transform it, not only will I transform it, but you say I am transforming my life. It's a transition. I can is that there's a possibility for you. You stop saying that, man, it's, it, there's no possibility. I can. And then you switch from I can transform it. I can transform my life. I can transform my health. I can transform my body to I will transform it. I will transform my life. I will transform my health. I will transform my body until I am transforming it. I am transforming my life. I am transforming my health. I am transforming my body. It's a different mindset. Grand rising, grand rising, mer, grand rising, Cindy. So you say I can, I can, I will, and then I am. Now, sometimes between the I will and I am, is that I must, right? I can transform my life. I will transform. I must transform it. Now, what gets you to a must? From a will to a must is you have a pulling factor where enough is enough. We're like, man, I, I cannot deal with this energy. Or I cannot deal with the risk of this happening because I, I don't want to deal with this risk. I must do it. At some point, your, li- at some point, your life is going to be determinant upon a decision that you have to make for your life. Not just your life, your kid's life, your other people, the people around you. So you have to say, listen, I not, not only can I, not only will I, but I must because I ain't got no choice by this time. Right. It has to reach a point where you say I must transform my life. So when it becomes a must for you, man, you're going to muster up the courage you need to get it done. Can I get an amen for that one? Y'all share this video to five friends and comment done. So when you say it's a must, you're going to break any bridges to do it. And you have to have that sort of conviction. It is that conviction that's going to add, that's going to cause that transformation. It is the trans, it is the conviction that causes the, the transformation. Okay. Once you are conv, when you not convict yourself to, to the jail cell of your past. Oh my goodness. Not convince yourself to the jail cell of your past, but con, convict yourself to the, to the, man, to the promised land. Convict yourself that it's possible that you're going to get where you want to get to. And that must sometimes have to be, if you're not motivated enough by you, I need you to bring the people who are in your life that motivates you the most. I'm talking about your, your, your hubby, your wife, your sister, your, your, your dad, your mom, your, your kids, whoever is going to be that source of motivation for you when you are not motivated enough. I need you to bring them saying that I can, I will, I must, and I am not just because of you, because of them. And if that's not even enough, I want to ask you, what else is there to do? You know, this is the change needs to happen. Let the change happen. Let's not resist the change. Let's understand that the change is is inevitably will happen when we get ourselves to a peak state. So you're like, how do I transform it? I need to know what I need to do. You need to have these powerful convictions first thing in the rising. I'm telling you the secret. It's not a secret because they've been doing it for the beginning of time. All the great teachers told you, wake up early at a specific time and do a specific routine and it will change your life. Somebody says, well, I can't wake up early. Well, guess what? Your life depends on it. Somebody says, well, no, it don't. Well, the quality of it does is what I'm saying. Every single day you don't rise and you don't prime your day, the quality of your life is depending on it. What do I mean by that? The way you experience life is way more important than whether you have it or not. Because at the end of the day, it's not whether you had life or you didn't have life. It's what did you do? How did you experience it every day? Did you experience it with mental fog? How did you experience it every day? Did you experience it with bliss and love? And, and you like, yo, I'm actually going somewhere. How do you experience your life? So I'm not saying that you need to do this because this is a standard or this is this is that or I, I'm just talking. I'm saying the quality of how you experience every day is going to be determined upon how you wake up. The quality of how you experience every day is going to be determined on the few things you do to get yourself up towards a specific route. The quality of your life is going to be determined upon the quality of your routine. So the quality of your life is dependent upon it. And it's, it's, it's a point where you have to say, I can, I will, I must. And then there's a transition. The transition from I can, I will, I must, till I am. That you, you don't get from I must to I am until you muster up the courage to do it every day consistently. You just don't get there. Like, 
I am is when you embody what you must do. When once you, once what you got so sick of, urged you enough that I must do it. I am is when you embody that 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 thing. I am is when you embody the very thing you've been trying to do. And once you step in it, the continuation in your I am is to be. And the continuation of being is to show up every day for your routine. It's that simple. But yet, sometimes it, life gets in the way. So somebody's going to ask me right next, how do I get back on my routine when I get off of it? Get back on it. <laughs> Somebody said, well, it takes me a while to muster up. Well, get go through that process a little sooner. I can. I will. Why do I can? Because I did it before. I will. Why will I will? Because there's another day tomorrow and I choose to do it tomorrow. Why must I? Because my quality of my life depends on it and I know that I'm going to be much better because of it. And why will I stick to it continuously as part of my life? Because if this works for me, why not work it? So I'm saying to you, why don't you make a, what if you made a determination today after you left here, after you listened to this, to go home and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to pick a time and I'm going to wake up by that time. I'm going to stop saying the excuse. I'm not a mur I'm not. Er no, I'm going to pick up a time. I'm going to say this is the time that I rise and you're going to wake up at that time. You wake up at that time consistently and you do some consistent actions. Somebody says, well, I don't know necessarily what to do. Well, we can start with movement. First, you check in with yourself. Then you move your body. Then you stretch your body. You massage your body. So if you're not used to doing any of that and you want to tap into how to do it, what I would recommend for you to do is join me for Rise and Prime. Join me. Let me be a support system for you. Well, obviously, if you stuck through this whole thing and added value to you, think how much more value this can add to you. Once you learn the practicality of the motions, of the movements, of the breathing, of the exercise, could transform everything for you. Once you surround yourself with certain energies, those energies really affect your life in a positive way. So I am letting you know that every single Monday through Friday, I have a rising call. It's called Rising Prime. Transformative. Will transform your life forever. And it's free to try next Monday. Rise and Prime. So now you want to know how do I get into that? Well, go to risingprime.co first of all. But what you can do is text me right now. Send me a text. Text RISE. Text RISE to 561-510-9605. Now some people have heard of this and they have not decided to come. Some people are not coming because they're scared of turning on their camera. And you don't even have to turn on your camera. Here's what. Let me ask you a question. If the quality of your life can be enhanced by taking an hour of your day to prime your day, regardless of whatever excuses that you have, you know it will work for you. It worked for you before. Will you not do whatever it takes to show up if the quality of your life depended on it, if your growth depended on it? Of course you would. You would show up. You would come. You would say, hey, how do I join this? In fact, I don't even care about the free ones. How do I join the full community, bro? I want to tap in all the way. The thing is, a lot of times we're we on the I can stage for so many, so long. We in the I can stage for so long. We like, man, I can change my life. I can, I can. We get in the state of belief. Here's what I mean. We watch all of the motivational stuff, but then we never get in a state of action. The state of belief is cool. But, yo, the state of action is much better. So somebody want to know, yo, why, why do I even care about your rising prime? Because it's the most powerful routine. I guarantee it will transform your life. First of all, there's a certain mentality that you build with the constant renewal of your spirit first thing in the rising. Somebody want to know what time is that? 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Eastern time. Wherever you at. You, 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 you at your house. You can still you pull it up on Zoom. You tapped in every day. There's a community to support you. So the way that this goes is we are growing through it every day from the detox that we do together, from the books that we read, from the subjects that has to do with healing, from the conversations we have, from the motivation and inspiration that the community brings forth together. Every Monday and Friday, you can join us for free. The way you do that is by going to riseandprime.co or just simply text the word RISE to 561-510-9605. Now, I'm at a stage in my life where I realize that the world needs this service and they need Rising Prime. 
It's going to transform everything for them. So that's why I'm adamantly about inviting you to be part of it. So upcoming this Monday, 7 a.m., make sure you go get your free ticket from RiseandPrime.co. I'm going to teach you how you can cultivate a rising routine that will cultivate the best version of you. So instead of waking up frenzy and tired and sluggish all the time, learn how to move your body, heal your body. So I'm talking about rotational movements, I'm talking about breathing patterns, I'm, about, I'm talking about self-massage, I'm talking about uh, body drumming, I'm talking about some healing breaths. Um, I'll show you all types of ways to release tension and anxiety. You store those in your various organs. But what if you don't know that? What if you don't know that sadness affects your heart? What if you don't know that that grief affects your lungs? What if you don't know that anger affects the liver and worry affects the spleen and fear affects the kidneys? What if those things are housed in you and the reason why you're uptight is because there's stress in your body? What if there's a way you can get rid of the tightness from your body by simply moving, breathing, and healing? That's what Qigong does. I'm a Qigong master. Qigong is the cultivation of your life force energy. This means that I don't not only teach people the mental thing, how to navigate, but I also teach people how to get rid of certain things from their body from a physical standpoint. So this isn't just some positive thinking. It's actually hardwired science right behind it. So when we get in a rising routine, we're not just having a conversation. I'm actually giving you the tool that will then help you release from your organs. Chinese medicine, we figured out there's only five major organs you got to take care of. Once you take care of five major organs, those five major organs take care of you. That's the heart. That's the lung. That's the liver. That's the spleen. And that's the kidneys. So I teach you every single day how to work those organs to heal them. What exercises to do, what breathing patterns to do, and various different ways of healing and transforming the energies in your organs. So unless you cultivate your life force energy, you will just be strength, you, you'll be strength, strung along by a string of your past way of experiencing life. The moment you say, I don't have to keep experiencing life this way, I can transform it. I'm going to create a rising routine for myself. You're going to see how everything shifts. It really does affect your life completely. I can say it over and over and over. I can tell you come to the Rise and Pride. I can tell you to try out the tribe. But I can tell you to text RISE to 561510-9605. But at the end of the day, when we leave here, when you turn off the live, you're going to have to make a decision whether you're going to be dedicated to your evolution or you're going to be stuck to how you used to be. You're going to have to make that decision. You you welcome sugar. You're going to be you're going to have to determine what you do. Not I. I I can only intervene with some positive words and I'm offering to you a, a an opportunity to transform with rise and prime. So y'all look at that link in the description before I go make sure you text rise to 5615109605. And I'll send you the link, book your ticket, save it to your calendar. Okay, save it to your calendar. And by saving it to your calendar, you'll be able to tap in first thing in the rising. You have to come see this for yourself. If your routine has been off, this is the time to get it back on. Once again, thank you all for tapping into this. This is Ed Talks Daily. Ed Talks Daily is your personal growth and motivation podcast that is to help, to help you sustain your health and wellness. Okay, your health and wellness, you don't want to miss out on that. Um, so you want to go to edtalksdaily.com and subscribe, y'all. What you just heard now is a little fraction. A fraction of what my spirit has in it. And I'll give it to you very every day. So you go to edtalksdaily.com. 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 Okay, you'll be able to tap in every single day edtalksdaily.com that's how you subscribe to this podcast when you get there listen if you're a normal listener and you have not left me a review i'm going to say hey stop telling me thank you <laughs> in person and then not saying me thank you with a review it makes no sense if you really dig my podcast my live video is my podcast somebody said i never listened to it yes you did you watched it live so go to edtalksdaily.com forward slash reviews and you leave a review. Like it'll literally take like a couple minutes of your time and you have no idea how much you help. 
and don't do it natively on the website. When you get there, cl- scroll down, click rate on Apple Podcasts, unless you only have an Android. If you only have an Android, then you do it on the website. But if you have an Apple device, you go to the podcast app and you leave a review. And, you know, stop lying to me, too. Don't say I'm going to do it and you don't do it. And you're like, okay, whatever. Nah, help a brother out, okay? I'm being authentic with you, honest with you. I need your support to get this to the world, right? This The world needs it now the most, okay? The world really needs what I have to offer. And as I keep sharing this gift, it will help a lot of people. So I need y'all to tap in for a little bit, right? So go to Ed talksdaily.com forward slash reviews right after this leave a review and if you have not yet text that number text me right now rise text rise to 561-510-9605 okay so now I, I don't know i feel like i need to keep going because what what word is coming right now forgive yourself that's the word that's what i'm feeling Forgive yourself for the past. The moment you forgive you, and not just you, I'm talking about your habits, how you've acted upon yourself is the moment you're going to have enough freedom to move forward. Okay? I just said I had to look in my spirit for that one. Somebody said, well, that seems pretty simple. Forgiveness, it is the ultimate way of evolution, y'all. Somebody says, you evolved out of the monkey. No, I didn't, man. I didn't. I don't believe in that. My evolution comes every single time that I realize that I am not my past. Let me let's say this again together before I go. I am not my past, I create my future. I am not my past, I create my future. I am the spirit that experiences both past and future. I am not my past, I am the spirit that experiences both past and future. The moment you realize you are not your past and you're able to forgive yourself on the daily, you transform your life. The problem with us is we're not forgiving ourselves enough. We forgive everybody else but ourselves. Now, we haven't mustered up the courage to forgive everybody, but let me tell you this. What if right now you put your hand on your heart and say, listen, Ed, you say, hey, listen, sweetie, listen, queen, listen, empress, listen, goddess, I forgive you right now. I forgive you for what you've done. I forgive you for what you not done. I forgive you for what you're going to do. I forgive you for what you did. And I am with you. I'm moving forward. Right? As soon as you, you, you can really say that with, 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 with your release, that say, man, listen, what happened to me, what I did to myself then was just a representation of my consciousness. And if I'm going to give myself shit for all the things I did to me, for the people I hung out with, I shouldn't, for the decisions I made, I shouldn't, for the way I acted, I shouldn't, then I need to give myself credit for the courage I have right now to transform my life in this way. And because I realize that every single day I'm doing what I can, what I will, what I must, and what I am, I am transforming my life that way. And I give myself credit for my ability to work hard every day to become better. I give myself credit for my ability to show up regardless of. I give myself credit for my ability to be there regardless. I give myself credit. If you're going to give yourself credit for all the shit you've done, you might as well give yourself credit for all the good stuff. Right? And sometimes you not only have to remind yourself of what you've done well, sometimes you have to remind other people what you've done well. Here's what I'm saying, y'all. Unless you do that, it's going to be a hard time for you to try to move forward because you're always going to have that judge beating yourself in the head. Let me tell you this. By the way, if you haven't texted that number yet, make sure you text it. Text RISE to 561-510-9605. Don't miss out on your chance. You like the motivation you're getting right now? What if I was right in your pocket every day? You, you'd like that way more. Y'all go tap in. RISE. Text RISE to 561-510-9605. Listen. We got to give ourselves credit. Like for real, for real. Why? Let me tell you. They said, I saw this dope picture, right? Uh, it was like spiritual. You, you, you write the word rise, R-I-S-E, and you just text it to 561-510-9605. So there was a spiritual post, some post. It was like spirituality is when the guy had a boot in his hand. And he was stumping his face like this on the ground. But from one perspective, the picture only saw the boot like somebody was stepping on his face. But you didn't see the elbow, which indicated that it was his own hand doing the beating up with the boot. 
So that was so deep because spirituality is when you step outside and you say, hey, <laughs> oh snap, I am the cause of my suffering. I am not the cause of the pain inflicted. I want you to hear that. I'm not necessarily the cause of the pain inflicted. Oh, if you're Middle Eastern, it does not work. I, I'm not the cause of, because it's not global, I don't think so. So I'm not the cause of the pain inflicted. It is, I am, no. I am holding the boot for too long. Mm. Here's the thing. Pain is going to happen. The boot represents the pain. You know the thing that you feel like booted? I don't even know. The pain is going to happen regardless. But the longer we choose to hold it on our face and say that, oh, the pain is hitting me in the face, that is the suffering. So suffering is almost a choice. So when we step outside and say, oh, I'm holding the boot against my face and say, what am I doing here? Toss the boot away and go about your business. Then you stop suffering. It doesn't mean the pain just dis disappeared. The boot might still be around, but at least you ain't holding yourself down with the boot on your face. So every day with your rising routine, you got to get enough distance from the boot and you so you can get your hand off your face. So guess what? An ideal is not bad. We need an ideal. An ideal that says, this is how I can be at my best. That's not bad. But once we turn our ideal into a boot to crunch our face on the ground, we are taking what was a standard of improvement and we made it a standard of punishment. And there is no reason why you should keep punishing yourself with your own standards. Every, I mean, why are you punching yourself in the face with the gloves you built so you could handle life. I have a standard of fortifying my body so that any disease that come my way, I can beat it. But when I don't fortify my body, yet I'm taking that standard, I'm hurting my own body with it. By saying, look at you, you never stick to it. No, I just need you to realize what you did that was not serving you and do what you want will serve you. The middle ground of bashing yourself, blaming yourself, talking shit about you ain't going to do shit for you. I'm just going to tell you straight up. The best thing you can do right now is recognize that the fact that you have a standard means you are living up to higher standards. That is great. That is not something to be ashamed of, girl. That is something to be proud of. That is something to be excited about. Okay? That is something to be happy about. So Sugar Spice, add me on Instagram, The Holistic Motivator. Send me a DM. I'll make sure you stay in the community. If you're global, you can't text me. By the way, text RISE to 5615109605 to tap into this routine. So what I'm saying to you all is this. Listen, don't hit yourself up in the head. I used to wake up empowered and I used to go back to sleep in shame. And I wonder why my life never changed. Because I would wake up and say, hey, I'd have this amazing routine. But then I'd go back and say, hey, my routine ain't made me no money today. And I feel bad about it. When I started to exchange my expectations for appreciation, my life evolved. I woke up, I did the routine, and I realized how the routine added value to me today. And I keep going. And I say, how do I make this routine more effective tomorrow to not only yield me value as I feel, as I live, as I enjoy life, but yield me value in my bank account? And when it doesn't work for me, I keep working it every single day. I wake up, I forgive myself, and I keep going. I forget. I just keep doing it. You don't stop. If you continuously renew yourself, you won't get too old. You won't, and you won't find what you're doing old. You're going to just keep seeing the new in it. And you're going to keep going every day, every day, every day. Don't stop. So that's what I'm doing here. Once again, I could keep going every day, every day. Won't stop, can't stop, don't stop. But I want to let y'all know, you want to dive in to do the work with me. And you want to say, hey, you know what, Ed? I want to, I, I don't want to just tap in the Rising Prime or just, uh, I want to join your, your community. Okay? If you want to join my community right now, right? If you're down, you want to be part of the Holistic Lifestyle Tribe. And you want to get the, you want to start doing this work with me on a daily, dismantling those emotions, literally doing the exercises to get rid of them, literally learning the strategies and getting around the community that will foster the growth. Getting this energy and inspiration on a daily is like a daily dose of inspiration. Come on, y'all. You can't go wrong with it. So I am inviting you all right now, right, to join that community. If you're ready, if you if you say, listen, I don't even care about trying it out. I want to join it straight ahead. 
Go to HolisticLifestyleTribe.com, right? HolisticLifestyleTribe.com, and you'll be able to join a community that's going to support you in many ways. This includes a book club. It got it has a holistic book club in there, right? Not only we got the book club, we got the uh, detox. So every season is good to transform your life with a detox, and we're transitioning to fall really soon by the twentieth. Um, so we have detox program in there. I got the Rise and Prime gatherings. The Rise and Prime gatherings are the daily rising routines from December up until this point. A bunch of videos. I got health wellness. I got dance classes in there. We have all the events. Plus, it includes coaching. It includes every single day. You, I mean, every week you can schedule in some coaching classes with some coaching sessions with me. So if you're so down and you're like, man, I just want to join this thing right now. Listen, I've been investing in all these different things. You know what I mean? We spend all type. Like, when was the last time you spent fifty dollars on a shirt? Right? You 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 spent fifty dollars on a shirt before, right? So why don't you spend fifty dollars on your health? Right? Why don't you spend fifty dollars on a community that support? You can even write that that, that thing off. You could write that thing off, man. So go to HolisticLifestyleTribe.com. Join us. Like, don't miss out on the chance to be part of a community that will support you and to to be around game changes in the space of wellness. Especially if you're a wellness entrepreneur, I think this is why you need to join the most. Because you need to be around powerful people just like I, just like all the other people who are part of the tribe. So whether you're listening, watching, this was a whole series. If you haven't noticed, the series has had a theme. Starting with you, ending with you, ending with your routine. It started with you, it ended with your routine. If you go back through my IG, you're going to see all the follow, you're going to see five episodes straight down, starting with you, ending with your routine. And that's because your routine is the beginning of reconstructing you, your rising routine. It's the secret that's not a secret that I've been telling you this whole time. I can tell it to you, you can hear it from me, but then my life will show it to you. But I want to ask you, do you want to wait? This is not about me. It's about you. It's about your ability to transform. And it's like, man, I, it's hard for me to get myself to do it. Well, get somebody else to motivate you to get yourself to do it. You get what I'm saying? And that's what I do. So once again, go to HolisticLifestyleTribe.com. If you're, if you're going to do this now, I want to see you comment in, this, in the section, I am dedicated. Right? Comment right now. I am dedicated that I'm going to I'm going to either join you for Rising Prime, right? Or I'm going to join the tribe. Comment in right now. I am dedicated. I am dedicated. I can, I will, I must, and I am. Right? That's what you see, remember I told you that's the that's the blueprint. Well, somebody says, "Well, you know, I can possibly join the, the Rising Prime." Well, that's okay. I can possibly join uh that's that's somewhat okay. I will, I will join. Well, you know, that's so distant in the future. I will join. I will. I will. You know what? Somebody says, you know, I'm a little closer. I, I must. I really realize that this is, this is good. I must. I must join. If you're at the must point and you're, you haven't gotten to the I am joining, what's the shift? If you know it's a must for you right now, it's a shift. Somebody says, you're joining both. The more I see you, I am dedicated. That's right. You got to be dedicated. So if you're dedicated, go to HolisticLifestyleTribe.com right now and join. Join the community and just see what will come out of it. That is my message and I am sticking to it, y'all. I want to thank y'all for tapping in to this podcast. Once again, EdTalksDaily.com is how you subscribe holisticlifestyletribe.com put the www dot in front of it is how you join the tribe and remember you have the unlimited power in you to achieve whatever it is that you want to create the person that you are already but first you have to believe it in order to achieve it in order to for that to happen you got to cultivate yourself with a rising routine every single day that would transform how you see life once you change the way you look at things what you look at will change Once your mindset evolves, your life will evolve with it. So remember, let your light shine. Don't hide it. Don't dim it. All right. It's the holistic motivator. And I am leaving, tapping out, about to continue my day of continuous elevation every single day. Peace and love to all of you. Um, Keep cultivating yourself. 
and only greatness comes out of people who work on them because you are the ceo you are the chief executive officer of your life so run your business well man and get to the shmoney called your holistic health come on y'all <laughs> i am out i am talked out talked out y'all have a good day thank you thank you so much sugar for sticking with me through the whole thing i appreciate you give me likes shares i thank you for all the love by the way i really appreciate you for tapping in uh, and we'll definitely stay in contact just uh yeah for sure check out my website join the mailing list we stay in contact peace and love